All right, hold on to your butts for this one. Every single woman wants her man to miss her, and I'm betting you're no different. The truth of the matter is that if a man misses you, you know he loves you, which is why every woman wants to know how to make a man miss her. We're gonna hit you hard with some deep and very cool psychological tactics today. Put your seatbelt on and get your tray table and seat in the upright and locked position. Here we go. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from datingfire.com and datingadviceguru.com. Welcome back to the dating and relationship secrets you need to know. One of my most popular videos and articles in recent years was about how to make a man miss you. And it took me a little while to figure out just why this is so huge and so important for so many women. It's not just about making a man desire you, it's about making him authentically desire your presence in his life. Because nothing says that more than knowing he misses you. Am I right or am I right here? Of course. I'm right. And one of the most disappointing situations is when a man doesn't miss your presence or you don't feel his desire for you in the same way. So what, let's talk a minute here about a few psychological principles of how men and how all people really work when it comes to missing you. All right, missing you secret number one, don't pretend you're not pretending a little bit. Okay, let me explain that. I'm consistently amazed to find out that so few women really understand the principle of being a little bit hard to get with men. Some women are scared of this idea. They push it away and they poo-poo it by saying that they don't want to be manipulative. They just want to be authentic. They want to be real. And yes, that part is true to a degree. The reality is that you're still wearing makeup, aren't you? Yeah, you, you're still choosing clothes that flatter your form, right? Yeah, okay. If you ever did online dating, I can pretty much guarantee that you chose the best pictures that a guy could possibly find, right? We are all in this business of presenting ourselves as positively as possible. Whether or not those pictures were truthful that you posted online or not, or authentic, was probably a little bit open to interpretation. And guess what? Guys do the same thing. So let's be honest with ourselves here. You be honest with yourself and recognize the fact that you are essentially presenting yourself as a romantic product to him. And you know what? He's doing the same thing, the exact same thing for you. You're not tricking each other. You're simply finding the best presentation to get the result you want, which is lasting love. And that's a win-win. So long as you're not being deceptive or purposefully misleading, you're fine. All right, next missing you secret is it's all about scarcity. Now, I've said this before, and it's really important. Hard to get is an important idea for women to grasp in this day and age. I'm consistently shocked at how many women don't understand this fundamental thing about relationships. Women have the supply. Men have the demand. Supply, demand. You can pretend anything else you like, but reality will always come back to bite you on the butt. Men are not the ones who should be doing the chasing. Absolutely not. In order for love to properly blossom and flourish, you must be, you must be the prize he's chasing. And there's only one way to present that by being a little bit scarce in his life. Now, I'm not saying that you intentionally mislead him about how available you are, but you could probably do a whole lot better with how available you currently are to your man, right? The fact is that no man misses a woman that he can have any time. I know that should be common sense. Let me ask you the most uncomfortable question here. How easy is it for your man to get you? I'm guessing it's a whole lot easier than it should be. The first rule of making a man miss you, really, I guess I should have put this as number one. The first rule is that you absolutely must be a little bit hard for him to get. That challenge is what every man wants to overcome to win your heart. You see, men are drawn to competition. They want the princess to send them on a quest. And that's all you got to do. Keep yourself a little bit difficult and a little bit scarce for him. Hey, you want to know if he's the one? I've got a great new quiz you can take to find out. After all, if he's not the one, don't waste your time with him. Go take the quiz right now. You can get it here at datingfire.com forward slash is he the one. That's datingfire.com is he the one. All right, next missing you secret is Texting is killing you, okay? It's killing you and it's killing your relationship. Here's another one of those ugly truths that most women unfortunately don't understand. Aren't you glad I'm here to help you with this stuff? Of course you are. Every time that you send a text to a man, you are removing a little bit of his longing. In other words, you're taking away the ability for him to miss you. It's like when you send him a text, it's kind of like sending him a little treat. How can a guy possibly be motivated to want more of you when you're constantly giving little bits of you all day long? 
that's what texting is doing. Texting is ruining your chances. To be more specific, over texting is what's really killing your game with men. He won't miss you if you're constantly texting him. Now let me stop here and insert a pause for that to really sink in. I'm sure you heard what I said. Why would a man miss you if he's constantly getting texts from you all day long reminding him of you? Exactly. Stop texting him so much. Give him a couple days of good old fashioned silence where he can miss you. This kind of reminds me of the good old days of watching television back in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, I know, I, I remember this. <laughs> back before you could stream television. You remember those days? Okay, again, I'm dating myself here, but remember when if you wanted to watch a television show, you actually had to be home at the time it was on. You remember that? That's right, back in the good old days when those old TV shows we used to watch were only on one time during the week and that was the time slot you had to catch. If you missed that time, you were screwed. You missed the show. Well now these days everybody has video on demand streaming mindset, right? Guess which one works to motivate you to watch your show more? That's right. You snooze, you lose. These days, if you're streaming, you don't have any sense of value about the shows that you're watching. Not really. The same thing goes for him. He's streaming your show all day long, right? He can't appreciate you if you are his woman on demand. All right, next missing you secret is use reminders. Sure, I get it. You don't want him to forget about you. Let's put aside the fact that if he forgets about you after a day of you not, te not texting him, well, he couldn't have been that interested in the first place, but let's put that aside for a moment. The best way to make sure he's not forgetting about you is to simply install a few reminders in his world. First off, don't think for one second he isn't checking out your activity on social media. I think you know that the same way you're checking out his. Just stay active on social media media as you were, but keep a very low profile, less information for him to interpret, be more ambiguous, and give him more of his imagination for him to wonder about you in. Let him worry a little bit about what you're up to. Why didn't she post yesterday? Why isn't she talking about who she was with at that particular party? There used to be a time when no one really knew what you were doing because you weren't plugged into the internet 24 by 7. Let me tell you that yes, romance and relationships were consistently easier because of that. The less information that a man has about you, the better off you're going to be. After all, what were you going to what are you going to talk about when you finally do get together? Think about that one for a minute. So what you do is just give this guy enough reminders about you to tease his imagination. You should probably, you should have something maybe left over at his house. Maybe you had a leave behind. If you don't know what a leave behind is, that's important. Leave something of yours behind at his house. A great way to remind him. Send him something with your signature perfume on it, like a card in the mail. You know about mail, right? Hey, if you like these tips, go on, hit subscribe, turn on notifications so you can get these videos every week and you'll know exactly when they're released. Don't miss out. Okay, the next secret to make him miss you is stay busy, for real. A while ago, I mentioned that you needed to be a little bit hard to get and the best way to do that is to simply be really hard to get. I mean, be actually be hard to get. I know this is kind of crazy, but hear me out. What if, what if he had a tough time getting a hold of you? What if you actually forgot to text him or call him because you were so out, you were having so much fun out with your friends, you were busy? What if your weekend actually filled up and you had no room to see him that weekend? Huh. Now part of you might recoil in shock that I would even suggest such a scandalous thing like that. But the truth is that doing that, th those situations would actually make men chase you more. We all want what we can't have. I'd like to repeat that about 25 times, but I'm only going to repeat it once more. We all want what we can't have. Whatever is most difficult for us to get is the thing that will preoccupy our attention. This is one of the consistent reasons that some women have tons of men chasing them and most women have pretty much no men chasing them. The principle of the chase is very simple. Show him a woman who has value, then see if he's smart enough to pursue you. If you start chasing him, if you start chasing him, the game's over. You've already lost. That's why he's got to be chasing you. All right, next secret is he can't possibly miss you if you're always giving him everything he wants. Again, many women believe that if they suddenly sleep with a guy and keep sleeping with him without setting up a real connected and committed relationship that somehow miraculously, fantastically, against all odds, he's going to simply fall in love and stay with you forever. Look, some guys do, but only because he lacks the motivation to go do much of anything else. 
and he's very likely to cheat in the future as well, simply because she let him settle for her. Instead of making him feel the kind of passion that would make him chase her and miss her forever. So every so often, you do need to make it a habit to say no to a man. Tell him no, he can't sleep over. Tell him no, you can't see him this Saturday. Tell him you're not sure if you're the right woman for him. Simple reverse psychology can inspire a man to a lifetime of chasing you. So don't deny him that pleasure. He wants to feel that doubt, that anxious edge of, do I really have her? Because every man in the world would tell you that one of a man's greatest pleasures is making sure that his woman is happy in the relationship. Men do live for that. Let him tell you with his actions and let him show you by missing you. If you want him to miss you, it's not going to happen by giving him every single thing he wants. That's pretty simple when I say it like that, right? All right, next secret is learn how men's psychology works. And I realize this one isn't very specific, but it is in its own way. After working with women for over 20 years, I can tell you absolutely that 95% of women don't really understand men. It wasn't always like this either. It used to be that women, for the most part, did understand how men worked. They were taught this sort of thing by their moms and they knew how to use this information to get a man to fall in love with her. Not through trick trickery or deceit, but through simple psychological principles that were a win-win for both of them. That's what learning how men think will do for you. You're not taking advantage of him. You're creating something that he will not be able to do for himself. He needs you to do this. And if you don't do it, you've failed. He wants to love and desire you. So don't trust the man to figure out how to fall in love with you. <laughs> Make it happen. And yet time and time again, I see women who honestly believe that the man is going to figure this out on his own. He's going to accidentally fall in love with her somehow. Let me assure you that love is rarely an accident. It's where preparedness meets opportunity and chemistry. If you don't know how to create that opportunity by knowing men, you're probably not going to get the man you want. Being honest here, not only will he not miss you, but he will probably actively keep you at arm's distance. Don't race off to try and find another video. This right now, what I'm talking to you about, can make the difference for you. The women who get what they want know when to stop seeking and start winning with men. Right now, here's your first step. Go here, go to datingfire.com forward slash free book. That's datingfire.com forward slash free book. There are truths about relationships that modern society has lost. We've become distracted from how relationships should really build and develop. And I can show you that. I'll show you how to get that commitment in a relationship. Go on over to datingfire.com forward slash free book. Get my free ebook and a free subscription to my VIP newsletter. And if you want more of this stuff, of course, go on over to datingfire.com, get the articles. And if you're new here, hey, before you go, don't run away yet. If you're new here, or even if you're not, make sure you've done the big three. Most people are not subscribed to this channel, so make sure you like and subscribe. Get this stuff every week. Number two is to turn on notifications, so click the bell icon so you get notified when the next video comes out. And if you're already subscribed, by the way, please share. I give away all this great free info and all I need is for people to find me. Don't, again, don't let the algorithm bury me. Tell other women. And number three, make sure you comment below. Did you agree with these tips? Is there another video you want? Do you want a part two to this video? Tell me down below. I try to read the comments every single week and respond to as many as I can. Hey, in a few more seconds, I'm going to put a recommended video right here in the corner for you to click too. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo. As always, live and love with passion.